Hello, everyone. Jose J. Garcia with Garcia Mahome University. Still getting new to that new Zoom thing. This meeting is now being recorded. I know I hit the recording myself. Jesus, I guess it's for other people. There ain't no other participants this time. It is what it is. Let's keep going. All right. Next video I had here for is pulling, replacing a mobile home. Good questions. Good questions on that. And, and that's huge because a lot of you, especially if you're starting to progress or graduate, what I consider it, and now getting into moving mobile homes, maybe bringing them to pieces of land. A lot of things you have to keep in mind, kind of hand in hand. So let, let's jump in. Let's get started. So if a mobile home is too expensive to repair, how will, how will one remove it? Okay. So, you know, there has to be extensive, and I mean extensive work in a mobile home for me to say, uh, I'm not doing this mobile home. Let's demolish it. Let's move it out of here. And let's, uh, let, let's just replace it. Now, here, let me go ahead and put this out there. It is a lot easier, a lot cheaper, and a lot quicker if you just demolish it. If, if you have a mobile home that is in that better condition that it really needs to be just taken out, I'll say, you know, they have crews out there and we have some context, depends where you're located. You can reach out directly to me, jay at garciamhu.com. And I can give you some context of people that this is what they do. They come out there, they bring a couple of bobcats, some machinery. I don't know what all they do, but they bring some totes, some dumpsters and they will, you know, just destroy the home right there in pieces, clean up everything and go take it out of there. That's, that's the easiest way, the cheapest, because keep in mind that if you have to hire somebody to come and pull it out, you have the expenses of, again, the transportation, along with then it has to go somewhere. Is it going to go in a big dump? Maybe somewhere where they burn it off or they, they go demo it. That's just excessive work double. You don't need to do that. Go ahead and demolish it right there where it's at and get rid of it if it comes to that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> if you have to replace it, then, of course, you know, you just about getting a new one. One thing that you have to keep in mind is obviously, you know, CD rule regulations along with permit inspections. You know that a lot of those questions an actual mover will be able to answer for you. So, you know, certain things they can bring. Obviously, if you had a teeny little single wide, can you now bring a massive double wide? Man, I don't think that's something you have to ask the city. There are some restrictions within the city. A lot of times, you know, some of the cities we've seen now that they're getting real specific. And a lot of that reason is they really don't want mobile homes in, in the city. They don't want any new ones coming in. So when they do allow, it's that they're very specific as to certain years, certain makes, certain sizes, certain pitch roofs really narrows you down to what you're able to bring so you know one of those kind of things but okay who are the local mobile home mover companies what do they charge and what do their service entail you know the best way to find movers is always going to be either one you can google them you can go to google.com obviously and just type in mobile home transportation near me you know if you have your gps on it'll be able to map places that are near you you don't want to hire a mover that it's hundreds of miles away you want to hire somebody that's closest because every mile that they travel they're going to charge you for OK, so, you know, that's one way you can do that. You can also call your local mobile home parks because most likely at one point or another, they've used a mover and they can probably refer somebody to you. So just call the mobile home park manager and ask them, hey, I'm in the area. I'm an investor. I figured I'll reach out to you. Uh, and quick little question. Are there any movers that y'all have used in the past that you would recommend? They'll know somebody. OK, how will one bring in a replacement in and set it up single wide or double wide? All right. Well, I mean, again, you know, the mover is going to take care of a lot of those things for you and setting up is something that they do. So, oh, previous, what does it entail of? Okay. So here's what a typical mover, we've seen some to do more and that's great when they can, or they do, but uh, on average, a mobile home mover simply connects to that mobile home from point A, point A, what I call, and they pull it, they haul it over to point B, wherever it may be. Once they get there, if it's a single wide, they'll set it, they'll level it, they'll strap it, and they go. That's it. That means that you have to hire a contractor handyman to come in and connect all your plumbing underneath the home, connect all your electricity, and then put skirting around the home, whatever you're going to put on there, foundation, I don't know what you want to put on there, and then of course the decks or porches, depends on what you want to put onto the mobile home to be able to get in it, in and out. That's about what they do. Some areas very specifically seen that, you know, they'll go with a little extra, extra mile to go ahead and connect the utilities for you. It just depends, but don't count on that. You know, here in Georgia where we're at, I have yet to see it. I'm referring to South, South Florida where they, I guess they'd like to do that. So, but they charge you. So I don't think you get away with paying less and more work. Doesn't work that way. Uh, setting it up, setting up a single wide. So that's what they do. Setting up a double wide is definitely very, it's a lot more labor intensive, no doubt. And the reason behind that is always envision a double wide, like two single wides put together. If you were to take two single wise, you know, you have to take them individually trips, two different trucks, whatever it may take. When they get to point B, they're going to also set them down, level them. But this time they have to put them back together. OK, they have to join them back because these two quotation single wise are each piece, A side, B side. 
Once they put them there, they connect them back. Again, they strap them, level them, and off they go. A lot more labor uh, extensive on that and a lot costier. So, and I think that's the next question. Difference in moving costs between replacing one, uh, one in a mobile home park versus out in the country. Uh, I don't really see a big difference in that. I mean, an expense in itself is, okay, so traditionally what we see is a mobile home mover will tell you, okay, I will move it in a 50 mile radius for this amount. 50 mile radius. So again, when you're thinking about moving a mobile home, if it's more than 50 miles, you need to get out of that way. You, something needs to change. Now, if it's 60 miles or something that's just for the property, then okay. But a lot of people that call me talk about they want to move a mobile home from state to state. It doesn't work like that. Okay. Unless it's line to line kind of thing. I mean, some of these people are calling me with, hey, I want to move a mobile home 300 miles. You're not even going to find a mover that way because movers don't want to take their responsibility. Here's one thing to keep in mind. When that mover agrees, signs that contract with you, yes, I will move your mobile home from here to wherever it's going. They take that responsibility if that mobile home tears, which means that if that mobile home is not in good condition and they decide, because they will deny moving a mobile home, when they get out there, if they see that it is in bad, rough condition, they will tell you, hey, I'm not doing it. You can get somebody else to do it. You know, if they take that mobile home down the highway, it starts to jump and jump and hop and like going down the road and that mobile home demolishes. It just flattens out on the highway. Guess who is responsible for that? They are. So they're not going to do it. OK, it, it, you know, and again, you know, 1976, that's not a question, but let me toss it out there. 1976 and above DOT rule regulation, you can move a mobile home. Anything under that. You cannot, not legally anyway. Some counties have exceptions, whatever, you know, with each his own kind of thing. But the way I see it is like, do you really want to be moving a 40-year-old box down the highway anyway? Stick to 90, stick to early 2000s if you can. Um, prices in a double wide is definitely a lot more. Yes, it's two singles put together, but again, a lot more work um, detail that goes into it. So to move a mobile home, a single wide in my area on a 50-mile radius, doing exactly what I said, you're looking around two to 3,000 maybe two to three thousand okay to move a double wide and do the same thing like we discussed you're looking at eight to ten thousand why a lot more work they got to put it together they got to strap it tape it i mean even hauling it is so much more work so this is why you have to keep in mind is it worth moving a mobile home if it's just transportation alone to move my double wide is going to be ten thousand is that worth my time well that's on you every investor is different every investment is differently we'll let you decipher on that Hope this video helps moving a mobile home, replacing it. I always try to avoid replacing them unless they absolutely have to go. Then if so, there's other ideas we can come up with as well. But for now, this does it. If you're looking for coaching, visit GarciaMHE.com. Any, any questions, comments, suggestions, drop a hello. Jay at GarciaMHE.com. Till next time, thank you for watching.